Hi guys, this is Fenchy and I can't believe I survived this experience. Motion VFX literally stayed my ass on this edit. I had the chance to take a last minute job and here's what happened. Yes, speaking? Oh, for any inquiries, please deal with my secretary. Thank you. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So the little sketch is over-dramatized but you have the idea. My friend was an editor on this project and couldn't reach what the director wanted for this piece. I then proposed my help to make this edit closer to the creative intent of the director. Without really anticipating it, I was taken as an editor on this project by the production. And because the timeline didn't change, I had to go really, really fast with this edit. But thankfully, Motion VFX really helped me to go fast in my edit and deliver on time. So if you live in a cave and you don't know Motion VFX, I'm just going to tell you what it is. Motion VFX is the leading creator of plugin for DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. They provide top quality tools for video editors and motion designers. They provide packages and these packages are great. You're gonna see some of them in my tutorial. And these packages makes you go faster in your workflow, but also makes your edit go to the next level. So a little disclaimer before we are going to the tutorial. This video is sponsored by Motion VFX, but all the story that I'm telling you is true. We're gonna see how I made it happen from the purchase to editing it in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to get motion VFX packages and also support the channel, click the link in the description. So I want also to tell you that the first video you're gonna see in the tutorials uh, has been a video that has been taken when uh, my friend contacted me and I was trying to get some motion VFX packs to help my friend. So I wasn't aware of what my fate would be. <laughs> Now, let's edit. So before we start anything, just look at Patat that is scratching her bum over here. Yes. So uh, she's watching at us, spending our money in motion VFX. <laughs> so my friend is on the way and he has some difficulties with his edit. So we're gonna spice up his edit with some motion VFX transition. So let's go to the motion VFX. So I've selected few packages uh, to help my friend on our edit. So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna take the M transition noise, the M transition film roll, the M restyle, the M movements, the M essentials, uh, the M transition movie and the M music video because like we want an atmosphere that is very storytelling but at the same time that cuts like with film roll you know this kind of ambience that is cut 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 with the film roll and after very atmospheric and after cut 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 this kind of style so um, i think all these packages would help me to achieve that um if you are curious about all these packages uh, just check out the videos at motion vfx uh, youtube channel because they all explain very well what's inside each packages uh, that's why i made my selection so easily and if you can see you have some uh, discount off uh, when actually you take multiple items so for example in my case i have 30 percent off because i order more than five items so instead of having it at 633 dollars I'm just paying $443, uh, which then is pretty cool. <laughs> and so now that I pay this, I need to put the M installer. So uh, I'm just gonna put this application in my Mac. Okay, so now I've installed M installer and I can see that all the packages that I bought are already here because I needed to connect to my account. So uh, now I'm just going to install everything and see what it does. One eternity later. So, 
So I'm just gonna record the video uh, now. It is around 4 p.m. If you know, uh, when you're French, at 4 p.m. is the goûter and obviously it's coffee and uh, pain au chocolat. So observe my real healthy lifestyle. <laughs> I'm making a break. That's pretty good though. That's, that's really good. You should do it. So guys, uh, time have passed. <laughs> a lot of things have changed. <laughs> so what happened is that uh, in the other video that I recorded once my friend was coming over to get some help on the edit, what happened was that I have been then taken as an editor. I have been then an editor only for this piece. So I haven't graded it at all. We are going to work with the footages that are not graded. I only put a bit of a film look creator on it just to have the 4x3 frame and uh, I like this kind of vignette on it. We are not going to touch the color greening aspect of things. It's only going to be the editing and uh, we're going to use motion VFX. So at the time I am recording this video, the project has been released. Here we're only going to recreate actually what I have done uh, for the edit that is online. So I'm just going to show you my timeline. I only have the intro of it. And for the inspiration, the concept is that it is a painter that's going to dream about a muse. And this muse is only in his dream. So I want something pretty abstract and fast paced because we want this dynamism and also when you are in a dream it's very confusing we wanted to recreate this in the edit so i'm just gonna show you my cut first without any motion vfx plugin on top of it so let's just watch it once So this is just the intro when he discovered the muse and we are entering in his dream. You could see that my voice is here as a placeholder, you know, so uh, it's not the final view. So please bear with me if already first it has a French accent. And also like I'm not a great view artist. Bear with me for this. Uh, but this is actually the idea. Of course, I've done already the SFX to support my cut. Now I'm just going to enhance it with motion vfx for motion vfx after you installed it with the m installer you're gonna find it straight away in actually your fx tab so if you don't have your fx tab open in your edit page you just go to fx and you click on fx you can go to for example video transition and scroll down or titles or anything and scroll down what i prefer to do is actually maybe just go to video transition because here I just want to tackle video transition. I'm not going to put text or anything. Uh, so I want to just have my motion VFX for video transition. So I go to video transition and because the plugin always start with M, I'm just going to type M and uh, after I can go to all my transitions here. What I can do is that I can close my media pool to just have more real estate. So then I have a very nice overview. For these transition, we are starting first with a hand where he's looking up and I want to have a sort of a flash back of them after meeting on the beach. So this is kind of like part of his dream. So we need to go from reality to the dream and then from reality to the dream and the dream again and the dream again and then come back to reality and go to the dream and after uh, just have the action in the dream okay uh, also this cut my intention with these three cuts is that it will announce what's gonna happen later in the film so then it's a nice foreshadowing happening really quickly uh, i'm just gonna enhance it with some flash transition we're gonna do the first transition i wanted to have something like a flash of course i put in favorite my flash transition so we can observe so you can live preview what is doing here i have m transition movie 
where it's just a flicker like that, where it gives some noise and a flicker, which is pretty nice actually. So I'm just gonna go with the normal flash first and drop this flash here. You just have the flash tech and after we come back to the reality. So uh, this flash, I can also modify how I want it. So I can say like, okay, this flash is good, but for example, I, I want less of the flash or I want more of the flash. So I can control the intensity, uh, control the blur for sure. Uh, and there is a shake. So I can control if I want a shake or actually if I don't want a shake. So, okay, so let's go to the other transition. So now I want a transition between this take to this take and after maybe a transition from this take to this take because this take is kind of like a transition take and we are going to a moment that is more still. Maybe I'm gonna start with the transition here first. So I want to have something that is uh, seamless but at the same time impactful. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to another package of M transition and the uh, uh, package is M music video. And so M music video really has bangers, you know, in uh, transition. And so let's preview it. You can have light leaks, which is pretty good. And you can have speed flashes and you can have a uh, flicker flare. I think I'm going to go to the with the speed flash actually. And it does this, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to see the uh, transition controls and so in the transition controls and the texture oh perfect i can change the color of the texture and so i think for the texture i'm just gonna move it towards blue because i'm gonna go to something that is bluer and it also reminds the color of the dress of this lady so let's see it's quite nice uh, what I want maybe is that I want to have a stronger flash and so I'm just going to raise the gain of it to have something like really, yes, like that. Perfect. Um, now we can tackle this one and this one uh, maybe I think something gentler because we already have a strong transition here. I'm just going to scroll in all my transition and see what i can put and for the moment like i could show you the other transition because there's so many uh in the packs that i taken so if you see like you have blur transition dissolve transition uh fast forward transition but also you have like in the film roll pack you have also a lot of transition that i really like but i want to stay quite classic maybe uh use the m transition movie light leak here let's just put this light leak and see what it does so it flash quite a lot so maybe i don't want it so flashy maybe i can just uh, go down and flash also, you can see that there's two texture and actually, oh, actually I prefer texture two. Texture two is quite nice. And it does this. Close your eyes. And I like it. So I'm going to use the movie flash here. So between this one and this one. So we're just going to put it like this. A bit more. Up. And it works like a charm. We go from the, the dream, the reality, and after we come back to the dream. And so with this flash in the middle, we are going to the dream way more naturally than if we just get straight. Okay, and so to finish, we have our three shots here. And use all oh, the flicker flare, why not? Let A, hey, we are crazy. Come on. Hey, hey. I see. Uh, I like it like that. It's quite fun. I like flashes. <laughs> um, I think, guys, I think you see me now as an editor and uh, I think I'm too in love with flashes. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to uh, put another flash here. Uh, let's put the light leak here of uh, music video 2. And paf, you know, you have it. Ah, beautiful. Now we can watch the video with our transition and our transition had taken like literally 
few minutes to put in and just like play with uh, so I really love it and I went super fast in this project my as you could see in the intro my deadline was super crunch and I had to just deliver you know like really deliver to uh, first of all um, support my friend second of all support the production and I mean support the client so then it needed to go really, really fast. And without motion VFX, I don't think we would have an approval this fast. So let's just watch together what we've done. And that's it, guys. <laughs> so um, as you could see, uh, I took a lot of package uh, from Motion VFX. As you could see also when I scrolled, you can see my um, Motion VFX packs that are also used for YouTube, like the, the Motion VFX KBHD. Also, there's the M Essentials that is really useful for me. I use it quite a lot on my YouTube videos. And so after all the transition, uh, also the MTuber uh, 3 is very useful. Anyway, you saw there is discounts when you are um, taking multiple packages in Motion VFX. I think it is pretty good deal because instead of having your package around like $90, uh, you have your package at maybe 60 like I did. Uh, so instead of paying, I don't know, more than $600, I think I paid like around $440, uh, which is actually really really good <laughs> it's a good deal so um if for example you are going to buy some motion vfx packs i really recommend you to actually buy multiple of them so then you have a better price for each of them as i said in the beginning the story is totally true even if this video is sponsored I really use motion VFX on the edit and I really presented this edit with motion VFX. So literally motion VFX saved my ass because I needed to make transition. Uh, but the problem is that I didn't have any time to tailor transition. So having this tool like really, really saved my ass. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, for watching this video and I see you next time. See you guys.